guys welcome to my channel and if you are returning welcome back today I'm really excited I'm gonna be doing a review of stay golden cosmetics I don't know if you've seen them but I have seen them all the time on my Instagram and on my YouTube I mean on my um, uh, Facebook and um, it's literally it's the glitter lips that you see um, I want to see if they actually hold up they are saying this is kiss proof swim proof and turnip proof. So I'm gonna put this to the test and see how it goes. Um, and I'll let you guys uh, check it out. I'll check in in a few hours after I reply this, of course, and I'll do an end of the day check-in as well. So I'm gonna jump into what is in this little lip kit. Let's uh, see, this is in their shade Burlesque. It is a red shade. So it looks like I have some glitter. All right, it comes with a lip liner. It is coming with like a little brush, um, a dual-ended brush. And it's, this says gloss, gloss Bond Make It Party Proof. So I'm gonna read the directions and figure out how to use this since there's so many pieces. <laughs> okay, so it's saying start with dry lips. Apply the gloss bond to your parted lips. Once the gloss is clear, dampen the applicator and use it to pick up the glitter. Gently pat it on your lips and cover the gloss bond. Okay, I think I think I'm gonna use the lip liner before I put this gloss bond on my lips because it really doesn't say when to use the tip lip liner. It does say a tip line your lips for a flawless finish but I'm just I'm gonna line my lips first yeah alright so I'm taking their lip liner it is literally just like a pencil um, it's not like a creamy gel it's it's literally just a lip lining pencil like like the old school days let's see I will say the formula actually is really creamy. I'm kind of shocked because it is just like a regular pencil, but it does have a nice formula. Okay, now that my lips are completely lined, I'm going to go in with the gloss bond and I'm going to put that on my lips. This says glitter lip kit and this is their gloss bond. It has just like a doe foot applicator. It's really tiny, so I don't know how much use you could get out of it. It's like a travel size, like liquid lipstick size. Maybe a hair bigger? Let's see. Oh, it comes out legit like white. This smells like glue. Like this smells like eyelash glue. Okay. I think I'm literally putting eyelash glue on my lips right now. Okay, it's really sticky, so I'm gonna try and rush and put this on because it's like about to dry, it feels like. Oh, glittery, and this is like an old brush, like. Oh my god, it's already sticking. Like. Let's try this side because that old brush, like your old eyeshadow brushes, uh -uh. Oh, this works a little better. This is like a long process. I should have totally just done my bottom lips before I did my top because I think my top might already be dry. This is a long time. Like I feel like, like maybe if I was doing a show this would be really cool but this is taking a long time. And it's trying. No. I know this sounds crazy, but I got this color because 
when I saw it on the model, it looked like like ruby slippers from The Wizard of Oz. And I am obsessed with The Wizard of Oz, so I was like, ooh, I kind of want to get that. So, um, it definitely looks very sparkly. But hold on, I'm going to put this glitter away. I don't like how it's just loose glitter. and you, it, it literally feels like there's eyelash glue on my lips right now. But let me turn the light on. So as you can see, it is super sparkly, but it definitely feels like I have eyelash glue on my lips. It smells like eyelash glue. Um, it reminds me of when I used to be a competition dancer when I was like a, in junior high school and high school. And um, we would put really just glitter and eyelash glue on like different parts of our like face or whatever for our dance competitions to fit our costume or our theme. That's pretty much what I feel like I did. So um, we are going to see if it holds up and how it works. I'm going to eat with it. I'm going to check in with you guys. But as of right now, this is the full application. It already is a little patchy, but let's see if it holds up to what they say. Hey guys, I just want to check in with you guys. It has been about two hours. Um, it's starting to come off a little bit, um, but it's still staying on for the most part. But it feels like legit, like I have just glitter on my lips. Like, I keep doing this. And, uh, I don't see any in my mouth, which is good. But literally, I just feel glitter on my lips. And it's still tacky on some of the areas where I might have missed a little bit of glitter or it came off. Um, but it's kiss proof for the most part. So we'll see how it holds up after lunch. Hey guys, so it has been about maybe eight hours um, since I've had this lipstick on. And um, so I just want to tell you the things I've liked and the things I don't like about it. But I'm first going to zoom you in on my lips. So as you can see, I lost a lot. It's like really patchy and it has like the butthole lip kind of thing going on but I definitely lost some um I ate about uh I ate lunch and dinner on with this lipstick and um it didn't really come off with the food but it did feel like there were moments I felt like I had hair on my lips and I was peeling it and as I was peeling it, it was actually the glue with the glitter so that kind of felt weird um, my boyfriend did mention when he kissed me, it didn't really come off, but there were like maybe like three or four specks of glitter that did come off. And so he was kind of, you know, happy that it stayed on, but he didn't like having a little bit of residue. Um, I will say for the most part, it really does hold its ground. Would I wear this every day? No. Would I wear this going to a club? Maybe if it's like a New Year's Eve or a special occasion. Um, I feel like this is more for like a stage makeup or something like that. The wear isn't as great as I would love it to be. Um, but it does like, you know, it does hold its own. It looks really pretty. It does look like the ruby slippers that I wanted it to look like. Um, but mm, would I purchase this in every color? No. It really feels like eyelash glue and glitter on my lips. Like, I feel the glitter on my lips and it's been on for like I said like eight hours and there are still parts of it that's a little sticky so like I feel like this would be great if you're performing or it's Halloween or a special occasion or something but I do think there are personally better alternatives out there um, you know because this is heavy on the lips it's very uncomfortable on the lips um, it's not like I don't feel like it's like um, what's the word like with a matte lipstick how it like will start to crack I don't feel like that at all but like I said I keep going like this because I keep feeling the glitter it feels like sand is on my lips so um 
you know, honestly, I think it's really a cool product. I think it's more of like a novelty item, something like I said for stage or for like Halloween or New Year's or something like that. But um, I think there's other better alternatives if, you know, um, with formula and stuff. So that is my review on... Um, so that is my review on the Stay Golden Cosmetics, um, the glitter lips that they do. Um, you know, it is a fun product. I'll definitely say it is a fun product, but it's driving me crazy. Like, I'm so ready to take this off my lips. So that's going to be another thing to see how it comes off, um, you know, on your lips. So, um, but yeah, honestly, it's just... It's a cool concept, but it's really just kind of like someone put lip liner, eyelash glue, and glitter in a package and put it on your lips. So, you know, just got to be honest. So. But thank you guys so much for watching my channel. Um, if you haven't yet, please like this video and please um, subscribe to my channel for more content. I love talking to you guys. I love reading your comments. I love getting your feedback. I love hearing about new products that you guys bought or things that you want me to try. So if there's anything that you want me to review on my channel or talk about or do a tutorial on, please let me know in the comments below. Feel free to also add me on Instagram. I love talking to you guys. You know, it just it makes my day and um yeah so I hope you guys liked this video if um Stay Golden Cosmetics is something that you're interested in I am putting a link down below just so you can click on it and check them out um they do have other products I haven't really experienced their other products and just because this wasn't my cup of tea doesn't mean it won't work for you like I said if I was performing I would totally be wearing this on stage um maybe for a New Year's party or something like that but Thank you guys so much again, and I look forward to seeing you guys on the next video. Bye.